Chile and Patagonia is really one of the last wildernesses on Earth. A huge area of forests, mountains, glaciers, lakes and fjords. We have a lot of life here, above water and below the water. People don't know what we have here. They don't know the rich diversity. They don't know the colorful marine life. They just imagine their ocean to be gray and boring. We have to really go in the water and look at it because you cannot see it from above. Cold water corals cover more area than the tropical corals. So they are really important for the ecosystem, for the ocean. These corals are really threatened by human-introduced changes. We are getting at a point where the ecosystems are destabilizing. The equilibrium can be lost. This is the hydrocoral reef, how we found it in 2006. It's a bright red, really healthy reef covering the whole ground of the channel. And a couple of years later, when we came to the same site, it looked like this, no living hydrocorals around. We have no idea what had happened. We hopefully can find out by some analysis to understand and to really prevent it happening in other sites in the future. There have been mortalities of jellyfish, salmon, sardines, shellfish. We found 360 large whales dead in a relatively restricted area. This is something that has never happened before in history. Humans are moving into Patagonia quite fast. The development of fish farming was exponential and the changes are dramatic. We have to really stop now and think about how we want to proceed and what future we have in mind for our oceans. 400 meters. We don't have a lot of time. We are really in danger of destroying a treasure that we don't even know. Without knowing what we have here, we cannot manage it, we cannot protect it, and we cannot really work with it. Until now, we've always dived down to 30 meters, but the fjords go down to 1,300 meters here. So this is just scratching the surface. We want to go down to 500 meters at least. An ROV is an underwater robot that has a camera and has a manipulator arm for collecting. We have no idea what's happening down there. We have to really take care of this ecosystem because if it's destroyed or if it's degraded, destabilized, it impacts all of us. It's really important in the long term to preserve this and the livelihood of the people who live here and also this natural heritage for the future generations.